What is going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan and under five minutes we are going to set up our very first AWS Lambda function. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So I'm here in my AWS portal and from the search bar I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in Lambda. Now if you're not familiar with Lambda it's essentially serverless. So instead of having to worry about infrastructure, the infrastructure is still there. You just don't have to worry about it. You simply just have to worry about deploying your code. So in the AWS Lambda console, what we can do is we can click on create function and we have a few options here. The first one is author from scratch. So it's literally just taking your core code, deploying it, you control everything. The next option is we can use a blueprint. So it's essentially just a bunch of demo environments, then a container image. So let's say you have a Docker image that you want to deploy as a serverless function. You can absolutely do that. And then there's also a app repository. So kind of think about it like a library of apps that are already pre-built for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose use a blueprint. We're going to make it super easy and straightforward. And as you can see, there are a bunch of different blueprints available. If we just search, I don't know, like RDS, for example. Oh, <laughs> of course, there is nothing there. But let's say we type in Python. We see a bunch of blueprints available for Python. So if we scroll down all the way, we can see like an SNS message. Um, we can just specify the runtime, batch stuff. But let's go ahead and click on the hello world. I know it's going to be super basic, but I kind of want to just get you started and get you understanding what serverless is. And if you want some more advanced content on serverless, reach out, let me know. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose that. And then we're going to choose this hello world Python. I'm going to click the configure button and then I'm going to give my function a name. So I'll go ahead and I'll call it Python test. Now at this point, you have to choose an execution role. And that execution role can essentially be created via AWS. So it'll create a role for you with basic Lambda permissions, or you can use an existing. As you can see, I already have a ton, <laughs> but I'll go ahead and I'll click on create a new role with basic Lambda permissions. And then I'll scroll down and underneath the code, we can see the architecture that is running on the runtime, which is Python 3.7, and then the code right here. Now, one thing that I want to point out, all handlers will by default have this Lambda underscore handler function and then event context. This is essentially what tells Lambda that it's ready for a Lambda handler. So the handler itself is just the code that you're running. So this could be any type of code. If I, I'm going to open up an AWS console here really quick and I'm just going to open up Lambda again and I'm going to show you one of mine that I have set up here. Now this is just to start an EC2 instance. So if I scroll down, notice here how I have event and context. Those two parameters will always be in every Lambda handler, but you can change the name of the Lambda handler. So if I just go back here really quick, Notice how we have the name here, Lambda Handler. Here, the handler name is Start EC2 Instance. Now under here, as you can see, I have one line of code. It's literally just starting an EC2 instance and I'm using the Boto3 library and then the Start Instance method. So it's really straightforward and you can literally have any type of function, any type of code that you want in here, as long as again, remember, you have that event and context parameter. Now if I go back to my Hello World app, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on create function. Okay. So now our function is officially created. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, we can see our code right here and then we can actually test if we want to. So we'll click the orange test button. We'll create a new test event. Notice how there's some templates in here, which is really cool. So again, maybe if we type in, oops, there's none for EC2, but if we scroll down, like maybe we want an event template for CloudWatch. Notice here how that's available but we'll go ahead and we'll stick with our hello world because that's our application. And it's very, very straightforward. We'll just give this an event name, test one, and here are our key value pairs that are gonna be essentially printed out for us. So if I click on create, and then I click test, as you can see, the response is value one, value two, value three. Now, let's say we wanna go ahead and we wanna configure this. We'll call this, I don't know, Hello world YouTube. Click save here. We'll run the test again. Now notice our response. Hello world YouTube. 
we have a response right here, hello world. And that's how we can get started with Lambda functions and serverless inside of AWS. Now again, if you do want more of this type of content, please let me know. I'm curious if you know all of you are essentially interested in serverless content and going a little bit more advanced. Let me know. Thanks so much. We'll see you again next time.